And let's talk about hanging. It's mysteriously absent from most training protocols, yet it's expected in all your stuff, like chin-ups. Obviously, you can't do a chin-up if you can't hang. Toes to bar. And heck, if you want to climb or do anything else, right? Some of you might be thinking, I have no intentions ever of touching my toes to a bar. And I will certainly never see myself doing a chin-up or a pull-up. Hanging, hmm, questionable. Good point. But do you reach overhead? Yes, of course you do, every day. And if your lats are stuck and they're super short and tight and your scapula doesn't rotate up properly, guess what you're gonna do as you do overhead movements? Eventually, you're gonna injure your shoulder. So, I wanna teach you progressions towards hanging that you can and should be integrating into your training every day. Follow me. Assisted hanging first. You can go pull-up grip or chin-up grip, but I'll start with pull-up grip. I'm 100% supporting my weight just through my feet, and I'm just kinda hanging out. For those of you that are overweight and have never done this before, this is gonna be enough. Just assisted body weight hanging. You can start with 10 second holds, build yourself up to 30. That's pull up grip. You can do chin up grip, same concept. Just get used to your lats stretching, not to mention the benefits for the hands, wrists, and the elbows. Once you're good at both legs on the ground assisted hanging, just go to single arm, both legs on the ground, and now get used to, obviously, single arm assisted. Pull up grip or Chin up grip. You might be surprised after doing this for a little while how much better your shoulders feel. Good luck.